All right, folks, we are uh, February 3rd, Friday, finally, of uh, a hugely busy week. It's uh, been FOMC, BOE, ECB, all coming out with their interest rate uh, decisions and hikes this week. So uh, max volatility across these markets. Really, uh, you know, to recap uh, what we've seen uh, on the S&P, has been a, a phenomenal push and nothing less than a phenomenal push really above this area the 40 55s we've been talking about it so much bang up we go getting up to 4207s of course which was the high here of the 13th of september uh, yesterday pit, tipping that and just a bit of pulling back now uh, you know i think a really good three day run actually uh, uh, breaking out above this area we just might, you know, want to take a wee bit of this back here, and we'll we'll have a look at the Nasdaq in a minute and see why we need to pull back the average pricing. Um, but generally, on the medium to longer term, we are broken out from where this arrow is here, you know, and above the forty fifty fives, and we should see continuation of that. You know, uh, this there's been a, a couple of really good responses to big cap earnings like uh, Meta actually a miss a beat on their eps a miss on the revs but they are doing a 40 bill dollar share buyback uh, program and and steve zuckerberg really using the right uh, words to uh, kind of charm uh, charm the public uh, so you know they're up uh, trading i think 25 percent up yesterday 28 percent, something like that and um, of course the bulk of that coming in actually the prior evening on the earnings release just before in post trade uh, but, you know, then tacking on even more uh, during yesterday's trade. Anyway, so that's really it. I think, you know, where we go, we're going to have to go to the 60 minutes to look for where do we want to buy a, a pullback to keep going. Well, I actually think that's going to be uh, pretty low down here. I think we could easily kind of come back to 4084s, um, which would be down around here. And um, to then look for the longs to get moving back up. Um, but, you know, let's see how we trade. Um, I think we've got NFP to come, of course, today. So, you know, you don't really want to be taking uh, huge trades now to sit in for the for, for the weekend. You want to wait and see what NFP is going to be today. Um, buns, I have to talk about the buns, of course. Yesterday, tacking on the biggest, the biggest yield gain, uh, or sorry, the biggest yeah, yield move since 2011 in the bund. Uh, of course, huge update there. Working within this uh, sort of sideways pennant structure, um, and then you know just working its way back down this morning. I think we could actually work our way back down to around one thirty seven sixty eight um, over NFP here. So let's see what we can get. But bonds largely they're wagon tied to equities, and I think that's largely because um, you know you're getting a really good yield there, and it's 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 sort of as close to risk free as you can get. Uh, you know, I was talking to the guys this morning, you can get 4.8% on a six month US note right now, or you could chance your arm with NASDAQ and uh, S&P, um, you know, so that's up to, up to the investors. But yeah, just wanted to mark those moves there on the Bund. Really big stuff going on. Um, I, I actually like Bund longs again from 133.68 up back again. So what else can we look to? Uh, oil having some big moves we got on some nice trades yesterday on oil off of the lows um coming in some some significant levels as you can see on my chart here coming into play getting along got about a dollar and a half off of that bid and then out we go and uh actually wasn't really on the ball uh buying this pullback this morning for what i think will be further upside to 7802s uh on this move that we're getting now so i don't know we're not going to get that today i don't think but over the course of you know uh, well actually monday of bank holiday here in ireland but if, over the course of next week i think 7802s and, and potentially higher to come here on oil um you know your your risk here is really below kind of 74 90s on oil um gold as well gold just can't get a bid you know with the yields rising uh so well the yield being so attractive on the bonds you just can't really you know you just can't really get a bid here on gold you know dollar um pretty pretty decent update for the dollar yesterday as well and so gold back down is you know in the mix we're looking at weekly bars here i think you know uh look, looking at 
well, 1890s as an export of coal on the downside here for gold. Uh, but I think generally 1840s is a really good area to get along this market. Um, a couple of these areas here uh, did come into play. Uh, so that's it on gold. And uh, Vic, or sorry, DAX here coming in off of the P vials and, and looking for love much higher up here. Um, I would say back to the highs on day. Um, but it's kind of a bit too big of a move to hope for before we get to NFP. So I've, I've taken that trade back to view up and I'm, I'm out now on, on DAX, short the bundle all morning. So yeah, listen, that's it really uh, for me for another pre-US session. Uh, just watch out out there, NFP to come half one. Uh, yeah, NFP to come at half one. All right, take care guys, bye.